Well, as the gymnasts go through their final warm-ups, and we're looking at the bronze medalist from four years ago, Svetlana Boginskaya, to anticipate the drama of Seoul is perhaps to be a little greedy. But then you have to realize that this time there are three countries with expectations and as many as 10 gymnasts with realistic hopes. Among them, the United States, Shannon Miller here. And among them too, Tatiana Gutsu of the unified team because of an unspecified injury to young Galieva, who beat her in the team competition. It may be that uh, each country should have the right simply to enter its best three gymnasts. And the Chinese also have made a substitution. But it would seem, as Gutsu prepares to battle for the gold medal, that the understanding and spirit of previous Olympic competitions have simply been set aside conveniently. In all, there are 17 countries represented, eight having three chances. For the United States, the first we see is Shannon Miller, and she's on the asymmetric bars. Nice little hop, full twist over the bar, immediately into a ginger. That's two releases. And there's the third, Akachev. Plenty of difficulty. All done with great style. A full twisting double back, one foot in front of the other. But really, not a lot of deductions there possible to take. Full twist in the long swing, and the dismount just about topped it all off. A full twisting double back. And that was only her first exercise. Gina Gojan. One of the Romanian hopes. Beautiful vault. The Yachenko full twist, but watch the arms at the end. Plenty of time to anticipate the landing, and what a landing it was. Two scores, Shannon Miller started with 9.925, Gina Gojem with 9.95 for the vault. And here is Tatiana Gutsu. He started with great style. That's the second of the releases. Building up to the dismount, a double layout somersault, and not a flicker on landing. And what a way to finish, a double layout, and watch the landing. Pick the bones out of that one. 9.95, that matches the opening score of Gina Gojan. This is Christina Bontesh, leading hope for Romania. She's another to go first for the bars. Full twist long swing. Kachev just a little bit flat across the bar. Not the swing that we saw with Gutsu. But there's a ginger. Second big release. To live in this company, you have to risk everything. And the double tuck back somersault, although well stuck, looked just a little simple in that company. Full twist in the long swing. Immediately into the catch out. And the second of her releases with the coach ever vigilant, the ginger. And in comparison with all that, perhaps this dismount was just a shade too simple. The double tuck back. Bontash finished third in the individual standings of the team competition behind Miller and Boginskaya. Boginskaya, incidentally, still to go. She's on the floor, 9.862. Bontash down a little bit on her compatriot, Gojan. But Anna Boginskaya opens the competition on the floor. The most senior of the competitors, 19-year-old from Minsk. Mm -hmm. 
problem with the start of full twisting double back. Well, you could never ever question the choreography. It was a beautiful exercise. The tumbling was in question, but she seems to have sharpened that up as well. Lavinia Milosevic, another one to be unlucky enough to start on the beam. A couple on the floor. Boginskaya, 9.912. Better than Kim Zemeskel, who put a foot out of the area and scored only 9.77. Five. Touch of the Corbits. And Milosevic going well. for the acrobatic series. Backflip and two layout somersaults. Rock solid, shoulders and hips square. But not so there. Dipped her shoulder very slightly. Double tuck back, sharp and clean, but the pace back will be a tenth. Tatiana Lysenko. She starts on the beam, where the highest scores so far been posted by Betty Okino of the United States and by Lavinia Milosevic of Romania, 9.85. One arm handstand. And uh, this is probably the weakest of our four apparatus. Three loud somersaults and almost lost it. Fort Gamely to keep control. Just a little adjustment there. her shoulders so well. Good posture throughout. And what about the dismount? It's a good one. Double tuck back. Just tipped over there. Did she hold the landing long enough? Good start by a serious young lady who claims to read the Chekhov and Tegeniev to 
prepare for these events. And that's the double tuck. You just didn't see her tip at the end, but the judges will have seen it. So many contestants for the title. 9.875, that's the best on the beam. So at the end of the first rotation, two scores of 9.95 from Gina Gojen of Romania on the vault and from Tatiana Gutsu of the unified team on the bars. They lead the way. Svetlana Baginskaya, her second piece of apparatus is the vault. Same as everybody else, well just about everybody else, but how good was her for twisting Yurchenko compared with others? It was higher, it was straighter, it was cleaner. And look at the landing. She covers the ground, lovely long lines, she makes it look good in flight. Now let's see, that lever is pushed upwards, lovely long legs to go with the strike, good vault, the inevitable one foot in front of the other, but she'll score well. She took the gold in the apparatus final in uh, 88 in Seoul, 9.937. Our opening score here in the competition, we're in Seoul, she was third. Exactly the same. She's on competition form to produce two nailed vaults under this sort of pressure. The area she must improve while well, you guess. Look at that strange position of the feet on landing. Lots of power in the round off. Good push from the horse. Slightly deeper, perhaps, to the first vault, but she's pleased with it. World champion in 89, runner-up in 91. Has she been written off too soon? 9.962. She's in contention after starting with a 9.912 on the floor. Lavinia Milosevic. Uh, Patriot Gina Gojin scored 9.862 on the bars. There's a little opening there. Full twisting back somersault into a punch rebound front. If she carries on like that, who knows? Terrific. Daniela Silvash would be proud of her. Fantastic tumbling. Here's a sample. Backflip, whip over somersault, backflip. Full twisting double back and look at this. A punch front. But it didn't stop there. Round off. Backflip. One and a half twisting back somersaults to walk out. Two backflips. One and a half twists. And a front somersault half turn. On and on. Oh, that's but Lionel Bonakin Sky might be saying to herself, not another Romanian. Explanations coming up from the coach. 
Turpin with 9.85. She's now got 9.962. Tatiana Kutsu is on the beam. Joint leader after the first rotation. Well, safely through the problems of the team competition. She's obviously thought about it. And that is as good as ever. A standing, interesting tuck back somersault. Beautifully elegant and a 360 degree turn. And good leg style throughout the layout somersaults. Lifts the shoulders and head. Good and high in the split jumps and leaps. Revolver flick. Been routine so far, and that just about caps it off. Full twisting double back, tremendous. And this, of course, 9.912 is her score. Is the young lady who 48 hours ago fell off the beam and thought she would be out of this competition. Here's another of the serious contenders, Tatiana Lysenko. From the Ukraine. What can she add to 9.875 on the beam? Oh, she's outside the area. She's made the same error, not quite in the same manner, as Kim Zemesko. Choreographed, but she's got to make up a bit. Double tuck back, punch front. She's not too worried. Double twist, punch front. True performer. Most arrogant in her posture. Powerful in her tumbling. Just the error at the start. And such is the competition, but that error could be very, very costly. It was a difficult skill, double layer, but she travelled, it was too long, the foot went out, and that's a tenth away. Fourth in this year's European Championship. 9.8. Costly, as we said. Now here's uh, Kim Zemeskal, and it's her second vault, and the first produced a 9.9. The applause is for Shannon Miller. Here comes the mescal again. So much power, and she brings it all under control with a great landing. Full twist in Yuchenko. She landed it absolutely still. The power to be harnessed in that way. Runs hard, pushes strongly, and lands under total control. Now we can see whether there was any form fault. Did the legs come apart? No. Did they bend? No. Only when they had to. Shannon Miller on the beam. 
in, on which she crams more than anyone else. Certainly from one end to the other in one continuous breathtaking movement. Tiny adjustment there, but it's not only her tumbling, it's the way she presents the exercise. So light and so graceful. And the acrobatics are truly incredible. Three layout somersaults with a backflip to start and room to spare. Lovely touch. And the dismount. It's a full twist in double back, and it didn't move. Super. 9.925 was Shannon Miller's score. And 9.9 .9 for Zemeskel, the world champion, but it's the lady she deposed. In Indianapolis, Svetlana Boginskaya, who leads at the halfway stage of the Olympic Championship from Tatiana Gutsu, with Shannon Miller leading the American Challenge. While Gutsu goes to the floor, Svetlana Boginskaya comes at the start of the third rotation to the piece of apparatus where it is said she has insufficient difficulty. really does go slowly over the bar that catch it. but it's a form that's so impeccable she gives nothing away with style double pike back the familiar landing and the familiar precision and the familiar one release Mitch yes and that could be expensive but uh, she's playing safe there's no way that she can just invent another release. No time to do it. Bent her arms very slightly, but this was a good combination. Straight into the double pike back somersault, and you can't take anything of it. And here's the first of the 15-year-olds in Romania in joint fourth place. Super vault, and you could expect it. She's been a world champion on this event. Huge push from the horse. The legs drifted apart slightly there. The score for Svetlana Boginskaya 9.887. 9.975, the score for her first vault. But there are other threats. Superb boat. And that really is a tremendous push upwards to a solid landing. Same score, 9.975. Tatiana Elisenko. But she does have a good vault. It's a question of how well she can perform it. Yurchenko again, but this one with the double twist. It's amazing. She can get two twists in from that flight and stick the landing. They make absolutely sure of this landing. Bend the knees, absorb all the rotation. A double twisting Yurchenko. Backflip onto the horse. Good shape in flight. Two twists. Fight those knees. 9.962. Oh, the leading 
American challenger has indeed has looked likely since the very start of these Olympic Games. She also won the trials in the States, Shannon Miller. Safely through the first tumble. And what a tumble it was. same marvellous elegance that she displayed on beam. Plenty of support, both of course on the same uh, United States team, but Shannon Miller coached by Steve Nunno, and a little bit of competition there. Good king of somersault, it's a back fly away with half twist to catch. The catch F, with plenty of swing. Nice double pike back, super landing. Kim Zemeska from Houston, Texas, 16 year old. And she gets a 9.9 .9 as well. Tatiana Gutsu, the last to go in round three. Milosevic leads, Boginskaya second, Miller third, Bontes fourth, Gojen, who's just posted a 9.9 .9 on the beam, is in fifth place, and Lysenko sixth. That start really is incredible. Recovers through to a double tuck. Interesting double back piked. Fabulous tumbling. But is it worth 9.925? That's what she needs to tie with Milosevic. And if there was an error, it was here. One big pace forward. But none here. Two whip over somersaults, backflip, double tuck back, somersault. That's the way to land. Off and moving to the next piece of apparatus. 
and 9.925 is precisely what Gutsu received and we have joint leaders going into the last piece of apparatus Boginskaya third, Miller fourth four years ago being repeated with an extra twist this time because there's an American in contention Milosevic goes to the bars, Boginskaya to the beam Miller and Gutsu to the vault The apparatus is different, but as in Seoul, it's the Romanian who goes first, Milosevic. Clean in the Shapasnikova, the high bar, clean also in the Ginger. The catcher. She's not holding back. Full twisting double tuck back and the only error was the little skip forward at the end. 9.9 .9 is the target that she has set for everybody else. Shannon Miller. Next on vault. On her two volts, she needs a 9.937 to tie. Well, it's going to be close. Paul Tristan Yachenko will have to wait to see whether it was long enough. It certainly looked high enough, clean enough, and the landing was absolutely nailed. But let's see. Did it cover enough ground? And the answer is yes, it did. Steve Nano, the coach, had his arms aloft. Well, it was immaculate in flight, stretched all the way, and that landing was superb. Mary Lou Retton among the audience. 9.975. Miller has the gold at the moment. She repeat. <laughs> well, she got close. Just the tiniest little adjustment. High and clean, just as the first, but a little tipple backwards. The same height, the same flight, the same distance, but that small adjustment was necessary. Excellent shape in flight. Not the same precision on landing. Just trying to hold her emotions. Another 9.975. Well, she got 9.95. The 9.975 is the one that counts. She needs a 9.95 from one of them to do so. She won't get it with that. Slightly deep with the knees and a little shuffle backwards. The flight good, but at this level, she needs to smack that landing. And it was short. I'm sure the judges will be looking at every single aspect. Look, legs there. The problem with leg style, she was short on flight and skipped backwards. And 9.925. One last chance. She needs to explode from the horse. She's in the silver medal position at the moment. She's gone ahead of Milosevic. Last hope for gold. She's well up, and she's stuck the landing. 
Well, we need to make sure she covered enough distance, but certainly as far as style in flight and height and push from the top of the horse, that will take a little bit of beating. Now, did she cover the distance? Watch for the white line. She's got to clear the first one. She, hmm, did she or didn't she? Well, I think it's worth 9.95. There's a form fault there, but she certainly gained extra height. She's waiting. She's got it. 9.95 for Tatiana Gutsu. She's gone into the gold medal position. Now only Svetlana Boginskaya can take it from her. And Boginskaya on the beam needs 9.987. She needs the best score of the evening. Beautiful start. Until then, the poise had been very notable, but she lost it just for a split second. Just the smallest of adjustments on a very simple skill. The major skills were very well executed. Look how square the shoulders and hips stay and how solid she controls it. How solidly she controls the whole exercise, even the dismount. There was a small dip of the shoulder halfway through. Minor fault should be minor deduction. And that should be 9.987. Will they give it? That's nice from Kim Zemesko, who beat her in Indianapolis. Back to the new star, or the one who's been around for so long. It's to the new star, and the tears are hard to control. 9.912, the bronze medalist from Seoul will not be on the rostrum. So the gold medal goes to the young lady who 48 hours ago was in tears, thinking she would have no part to play in this competition. Shannon Miller of the United States in second place and Lavinia Milosevic of Romania is third. Bontash in fourth position for Romania, Boginskaya down in fifth. 0.012 between gold and silver. 0.038 between silver and bronze. Little Tatiana Gutsu, the champion of Europe, becomes the Olympic champion. And the gold medal goes to the lady from Odessa in the Ukraine. All three on the rostrum of one stage thought that the gold medal was hers. But in the end, Tatiana Gutsu from the Ukraine is the Olympic all-around champion and it's the anthem of the Ukraine that we hear.